Their cause must be our cause too. Um, in America, Black History Month it kind of have its origins in the civil rights movement. Um, that decade was a, a watershed decade um, or decades, if you will. Um, but specifically under the presidential administration of Gerald Ford in 1976, America was celebrating um, its bicentennial independence from um, England. And around that time, especially you know, since it's so close to the civil rights movement ending, Gerald Ford initiated the celebration of Black History Month. But um, if you want to take it back in the roots of African-American history, we have to go back to Carter G. Woodson, Dr. Carter G. Woodson, um, who founded the Journal of Negro History around 1916. But that journal has since transformed into the Journal of African-American History. And in the 1920s, he had initiated a Negro History Week. But over time, especially after the civil rights movement again, you have President Gerald Ford um, saying that America should celebrate black history. And then um, Black history is important for everyone. It's important for, of course, African Americans and uh, other African descended people to know the history, but it's important for everyone to know black history because in many ways, the 339 years of enslavement from 1526 in America to 1865 really was conditioned on the erasure of black history. You had to assume that these people were next to the level of living at a state of nature, living at so-called a beast level, in order to enslave them in the way that you did. So the more that we actually understand black history and what black folks did even during those 339 years, and that's the other thing, you know, we, we mentioned and we talk about 1619 as one, one founding point, but the actual founding point, if we are honest, is 1526 in terms of African-American history. But we say in Africana studies, and most black historians will say that our history begins before enslavement. And it's really important to remember that and, and to, to